to introduce you to the chairman of Goddard Enterprises Limited, Mr. Charles Herbert. Mr. Herbert, would you stand so that the participants can see you, the awardees and the members of the press? The CEO, Mr. Anthony Alley, is also up front. The chief, <laughs> the chief financial officer, Mrs. Natasha Small, is also here. The executive assistant, Julie Reese, that all of the awardees would have been contacting and speaking to, that is Julie Reese. And we have a number of other senior executives and mentors of Goddard Enterprises Limited and the various subsidiary companies. So I'm not going to necessarily introduce all of you, but if you could just raise a hand so that they can see where you are sitting. Yes, some in front, some behind. And you will be introduced to the ones who are your specific mentors as the afternoon goes along. Now, in terms of our awardees, the first one, All of We Comics, Mr. Mark Gibson, would you stand and be recognized, please? BB's Mushrooms, Deborah Bishop. And the Gems Gourmet Chocolates Barbados, Melissa Batson. We also have with us representing Med Regis, Dale Trotman. Representing Mike's Beige and Beverages, Michael Thornton. And we also have Cool Comforts, Frozen Delights, Leandra King. And today we also have with us members of the press. We have CBC, we have Starcom Network, The Nation Publishing Company, Advocate, and Barbados Today. Thank you all for coming, and thank you for being a part of this ceremony today. And now to start us off and to tell us what led up to this point in time, I'd like to introduce the gentleman who has been working with it. There are a number of people who would have had an input along the way, but he's the one who said, yes, we're going to do it. And he is the CEO, Managing Director of Goddard Enterprises Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Anthony Alley. I'm going to take this off just for the talk, and then I'll put it back on. So good afternoon, everyone. First of all, let me welcome our chairman, Charles Herbert, our CFO, Ms. Natasha Small, all of the mentees from Goddard Enterprises, all of the award winners. On October 13th, 2021, we had the honor of celebrating a historic moment. Goddard Enterprises turned 100 years. Our founders, Joseph N. Goddard and his son, opened their small grocery in Bridgetown exactly 100 years from that date. Now, Goddard operates in 26 countries throughout the Caribbean, Central America, South America, and North America. That first year, we had a total sales in 1920-21 of $10,000. Last year, our sales were approximately $800 million. And I guess that's really why we're here today, is to talk about the entrepreneurship of this group and our hope that some of the businesses, some of the awardees today, will be in a very same position. That 100 years from now, you'll be meeting with teams, or at least your companies will be, and you'll be celebrating the millions of dollars that each and every one of you will be selling, whether it's here within the Caribbean or internationally. And we're hoping that our contribution today of the $10,000 will get you on your way and start you off. But it's really not just about the money. Our commitment is really about people. And you'll see that's why today we have our sponsors, our coaches, or mentors here to meet all of you. And that's really part of the commitment. It's one thing to have the financial support. It's another thing to have experienced business people there that you can rely on, somebody you can call in a time of need, or someone who can at least give you some advice, open some doors, make some connections, do the networking that you may not be able to do. And trust me, that is equally as, impo uh, as important in success. So let me give you a little bit of history of how we got to this point. This all started with a conversation, believe it or not, with two lovely young ladies. One of them was our Prime Minister, the Honorable Mia Amor Motley. Down in Alara Court, about a year and a half ago, I was sitting there in a meeting with her and a bunch of other executives, and she pointed across the table and said, see him? You guys need to do what they have done. And he was pointing to me and referring to Goddard Enterprises, not me. Um, and she said, look at what they've done with Caribbean label craft. Look at what they've done with antiseptic tiles. They partnered with local people 
And today, they have successfully built very, very uh, profitable companies that are number one in their field. The rest of you, and she points to everybody else in the room, says you need to do the same thing. You need to help the young entrepreneurs of Barbados excel. That was the first time that thought came into my head, and it was from her. The second time was when we actually thought about how would we celebrate our 100th anniversary. And the other young lady is Miss Natasha Small. She said, you know what? I think instead of doing this, we should really give back to the community and help other people become like Goddard Enterprises, a multinational company, highly successful. Why don't we give away these entrepreneurship awards? So from the idea of those two young ladies, that was the genesis of how we got here today. So the logistics of the competition, well, that was fairly easy. We got my team together, and you see a lot of them here, Margaret, the executive teams, Julie Reese, and we said, you know what, we're going to reach out across the entire platform of Goddard Enterprises. We're going to give these awards, and initially we said four in Barbados, three in the OECS, two in Latin America, and one for a Goddard family member. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to go through social media, we're going to go through the press and everything else, and we're going to announce the award, or the, uh, the, the entrepreneurship award, and we're going to give them the criteria. And that's exactly what we did. Unfortunately, we did not receive a qualified applicant from Latin America, so we ended up giving four, five in Barbados, four in the OECS, and one for a Goddard family. So that's how we got here today. Then the second thing was, okay, so we're going to get lots of these applicants and we're going to get lots of ideas. How do you filter them down and get down to the top 10? So what we did was we put together teams, one for Latin America, who obviously spoke Spanish and read Spanish, one for the OECS and one from, the, uh, from Barbados. And we took a financial person, a marketing person, a general business manager, and a uh, HR person put them into a team and said, could you please review all of the entrants and select your top ones for us? Those would then go to an overall parent uh, team, which was basically comprised of Nicholas, uh, Charles, myself, and our M&A manager, uh, Samuel Garcia. And we, after reviewing all of them, distilled them down to the 10 winners that we have today. So that was the process of how we got here. The next step was basically, how do we then uh, arrange for the money? Well, that was easy. You notice Natasha sitting near the cash. She's always near the cash. They keep me far away from that, personally. So they put me at this end, but she's always there. More importantly, it was the mentors. And so what we did was we sent out an email saying, look, these are the winners of our competition. What we're really interested in is who would like to mentor these people. And again, the process was we wanted volunteers. So everybody went through and read the various projects and looked at what they were doing and said, I'd like to volunteer to be the financial support person or I'd like to be the coach for that. So it wasn't we're going to assign this to somebody and you're going to do this because we say so. Everybody that's a coach or mentor chose to be here because they fought, saw something in your project that they were attracted to, thought it was a really good idea, and wanted to be part of that success. So again, a very interesting way of looking at it. When all was said and done, we decided that we were going to hold the event, but unfortunately, COVID has put a dampener on almost everything that we could do for the celebration of our 100th anniversary. We had a number of events scheduled. We did the walk, that was successful, but a lot of the other events, unfortunately, did not come off. This one was one of the ones that we said, no matter what, we're going to find a way to execute this. And so here we are, outside in the parking lot. I arranged for a strong breeze, as you can see, to make sure that we're all safe. So with that, we'll introduce your mentors in a minute, but I do want to give you all some advice on what I think entrepreneurs should be looking at. I will tell you that being successful all comes down to personal, personal passion. Ideas, I tell my executive team, are a dime a dozen. There are lots of people with really, really good ideas. The ones that are successful are the ones that are driven by people with passion, who are willing to sacrifice and make things happen rather than sitting back and waiting to hopefully things will happen and fall in their laps. 
hope all of you are, I believe, people with passion. I've met some of you already, and I know you're all committed. So our commitment at Goddard Enterprises is to support you with our coaches and mentors, our financial contribution. Your commitment will be, how do you end up here next year? Because don't forget, this is not a one-year contest. The next step in this is the 10 of you, and I forgot to mention the four who are being seeing this internationally. We have four winners, one from St. Vincent, one from St. Lucia, no, one from Trinidad, and two from Jamaica. Uh, so they're seeing this as well. They will go through their own ceremonies with their own teams, and, and they'll be presented their awards. But all 10 of you are now going to be competing for next year's contest. And again, that will be three winners, all receiving $10,000 cash, US. And then those three will compete again a year later in 2023. And the final winner will get the grand prize. So again, this isn't a one-time event. I'm hoping that I will, well, I know I'm gonna see some of you. The question is, which one? Okay, you guys look around, take note, but you're all competing. So again, that's the process that we decided to go through. I think it makes it exciting. I think you know this is a long-term commitment, so we're gonna be there with you every step of the way. Now, let me talk a little bit about the coaches and the mentors. So, some of the mentors are here today, so you'll get to meet them. For all of we comics, your coaches are Ainsley Rajkumar Singh, who's our cluster manager for GCG, and he's located in Trinidad, and he's actually viewing this now, so he will reach out and touch base with you. And the financial person is Alfia Mohammed, and that's his um, chief financial officer for his group in Trinidad. So they were both very, very interested in your project. For BB Mushrooms, your coach and mentor is our chairman, Charles Herbert. Charles is, uh, he dabbles every so often in agriculture, you know, he does a little bit of here and there. So he might be useful for you. Um, if you guys know Charles, he's actually the, uh, the guy that uh, owns and produces Redland uh, products, uh, lettuce that you see in almost all the supermarkets and you see all the hotels and, and restaurants serving. So he actually actually knows something about agriculture. And then supporting him is Celicia Webster-Smith. And she's the group financial uh, controller for the catering group in the Caribbean. So that's the team that will be supporting you. In terms of Gems Chocolate, uh, I'm the coach and mentor. Um, so unfortunately, you got you know, stuck with me. But some of you may not know that we actually have a chocolate processing facility in Ecoca, in Ecuador. And it's a very large facility. And so we're very interested in chocolate. And so that's why I took that particular one. And supporting me is Gonzalo Yuka. Gonzalo is the CFO for the chocolate processing plant in Ecuador. So again, somebody who knows a little bit about chocolate. Then we have Medregis. Medregis, you are being uh, sponsored by your mentor, which is Terry Scantleberry at the back. Terry is the group ITC manager. And supporting him is Terrell Cumberbatch, who's sitting directly behind you. He's the controller, financial controller at GCG Barbados. And then lastly, Mike's, Mike, your uh, two uh, coaches are Nicholas Mute, who's the CEO of our manufacturing group. I think you've met Mike, I've met Nicholas. And lastly, Anne Marshall, and Mar Anne is here, I just don't know exactly, oh, there she is, right behind you. And Anne is the financial controller for Hypac, a very, very successful company within Goddard's. Anne has been a big part of that, so I think you've got somebody very strong there. So that's the team that will be supporting you guys. Again, I want to take the opportunity to thank you all and congratulate you. Oh, I forgot one, one more, one more. The, the, the uh, local family member, um, Miss King. So for the family member, which is Cool Comforts Frozen Delights, and I didn't notice an ice cream truck or a freezer truck anywhere around, so I guess you didn't bring samples for us all? That would have been like the right thing to do. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll talk, we'll talk. We'll arrange something, you can come to the office and show off your goods. Um, but for Cool Comforts, we have Miss Video Woods, who's the general manager for Hanshel Innes, and supporting her is her financial controller, controller uh, Nicole Story. So, stone, story, yes, I didn't bring my glasses, Nicole, sorry. So again, those are the teams. 
that are supporting our winners today. So again, I'd like to thank you all for coming today. I want to congratulate you all on your accomplishments and I wish you all the best of luck. And again, like I said, I hope that you will all be here 100 years celebrating your companies and your success. So thank you all very much. Thank you, Mr. Ali. So now you're all getting very excited, I'm sure. And what we're going to do now is to have the presentations of the checks and the trophies and the photo op. I will invite Natasha to come by the checks. Mr. Ali, you will go by the, the trophies with Julie. And I will read a short citation, and then you can come up to collect your prize. Olui Comics is the first mobile platform for authentic Caribbean comic books. It is a digital platform built by comic book fans who are also programmers and developers. Their premise is that physical comic book stores are practically non-existent in the Caribbean and trade bookstores in the region where these exist typically don't carry regional comic books. And while our region is home to talented comic book creators, their impact on the global comic book industry remains to statistically insignificant. Olawi aims to change all that. F from this simple premise, they have worked to build a subscription-based mobile platform that fosters regional entrepreneurship and is the means by which Caribbean comic books penetrate the global comic book industry. The owner is Mark Gibson, and we invite Mark to come up and collect his prize and trophy. All right, thank you. Congratulations, Mark. And he will collect all those things after. BB's Mushrooms is setting out to establish a mushroom growing business in Barbados. This low risk business venture addresses the fact that there are no local mushroom growers in Barbados, which means that all mushrooms have to be imported into the island. At the beginning of the business venture, three varieties of mushrooms will be grown. These represent the most common types, as well as the easiest to grow. These are oyster mushrooms, white button mushrooms, and portobello mushrooms. As the business grows, there is the option to expand the types of mushroom varieties offered. The owner of this business is Deborah Bishop. Congratulations, Deborah. We invite you up to collect your prize. Congratulations, Deborah. And we look forward to seeing those mushrooms in the supermarket. Gems Gourmet Chocolates Barbados has been a small batch manufacturer of the Infusion Dark Chocolate Bar since 2017. They first entered the chocolate bars in the NIFCA Culinary Arts Competition as a testing ground for the product, primarily for feedback, but they ended up gaining much more than anticipated. They walked away from that competition with two prestigious awards, namely the Governor General's Award for Excellence and the Challenge Trophy Professional Level. Level. Their aim is to create uniquely flavored and infused chocolate bars inspired by tropical local fruits, crops, and cuisines from Barbados and the Caribbean. To be recognized within the chocolate world and among the chocolatier community as one of the best manufacturers, and to be an exporter of locally produced chocolate bars to the Canadian, UK, and EU markets. The owner of the business, Melissa Batson. Congratulations, Melicia, and to Gems Gourmet Chocolates. Med Regis, 
healthcare within developing regions such as the Caribbean is still an archaic state, in an archaic state. Paper is the primary method of documentation that hinders effective patient care. The first solution that comes to mind in solving this is an electronic health record or an EHR. MedRegis is developing a workflow and user-oriented electronic health record for outpatients, for outpatient care, doctor's offices and clinics with continuous medical and non-medical personnel feedback. Their workflow and usability approach means fewer clicks, less typing, and the duplication of repetitive processes. For example, duplicating a patient's past prescriptions with the ability to edit when creating a similar prescription. Their primary mission is to avoid creating these issues for Caribbean medical staff. Their solution is for clinics and doctor's offices or outpatient care, not a hospital. That is inpatient care, which would require a vastly different solution. The owner of MedRegis, Dale Trotman. Congratulations to Med Regis and Dale Trotman. The aim of Mike's Bajan Beverages is to offer the only fresh homemade rum punch made daily, similar to how milk is delivered daily in the UK. They offered free delivery island-wide long before COVID encouraged free delivery, and they plan to get access to as many retail outlets as possible with fridge space. Their main target markets are the villa management companies, local super supermarkets, and visitors to the island. Mike's Bajan Beverages manufactures local beverages, namely Mike's Fresh Bajan Rum Punch, uniquely fresh made daily rum punch and offered with free delivery, Mike's Old Fashioned Iced Coffee, Mike's Rum Cream, and seasonally at Christmas, Mike's Poncha Creme. And the newest addition, Mike's Pirate Punch, which carries a six month shelf life. Mike's Bajan Beverages, owned and operated by Michael Thornton. Congratulations to Michael Thornton of Mike's Bajan Beverages. Cool Comforts Frozen Delights is a manufacturer of artisanal frozen desserts, which are made using local fruits and vegetables found in Barbados. Their desserts are all 100% plant-based and are dairy-free and vegan-friendly. The mission of the business is to utilize local produce in an innovative way to give Barbadians and visitors a true taste of what the island has to offer. Therefore, all of their gelato flavors are inspired only by fruits and vegetables that would be typically grown here in Barbados. While Cool Comfort's Frozen Delight's primary mission is to showcase how local produce can be used, they have also sought to cater to the often forgotten market. Their products are an alternative to ice cream, which appeal to those who have dietary restrictions. That would be vegans and persons who have lactose sensitivities, as well as those who are simply seeking a new frozen dessert experience. All of their products are made from scratch, in-house, and all fruits are sourced and prepared accordingly. Owned and operated by Leandra King, Cools, Comforts, Frozen Delights.
Thank you. Congratulations to Cool Comfort's Frozen Delights. That one is from the family of GEL staff members, and that was the separate competition as mentioned. Thank you to Mr. Ali, and thank you to Natasha Small. But now we'd like to invite these awardees. We'd like to hear from all of you. And they're going to tell us now exactly what this award means to them. The first one I'd like to invite up, All We Comics, Mr. Mark Gibson. Good afternoon. All We Comics started with one simple belief. Reading authentic Caribbean comic books should be easy. This belief rests on the unassailable bedrock that people are both creating and reading content that speaks to who we are as a people. With an authenticity that outsiders to this rich diaspora cannot replicate. I take this opportunity to thank Mr. Anthony Ali and the Goddard Enterprises Limited team for selecting All We Comics as one of the winners of this stage. Receiving this entrepreneurship award means that the tireless efforts of my team and myself to build the first platform of its kind for this region are seen. We take being seen, this recognition, this additional validation forward, strengthening our commitment to ensure that our Caribbean creators and their content are also seen. Gone are the days where the passion to create and read comic book media are seen as bare skylarking. Comic books truly hold the capacity to excite, entertain, inspire, represent, and animate us as a people, children and adults alike. Thank you. Thank you, Mark, and good luck as you go through to the next level. BB's Mushrooms is owned by Deborah Bishop, and she has big things in store for the mushroom industry in Barbados. Deborah? Um, good afternoon, everyone. I'm really pleased to be here. And um, I'm just thankful that Goddard has selected me to be part of this phase of the 100th Anniversary Entrepreneur Awards competition. And I just want to say thank you. When I first heard that I had succeeded in this part of the um, of the competition as a winner. I was elated. Um, it helped to validate my goal of, of being a successful business owner. Uh, I first became interested in growing mushrooms many years ago, and I'm glad to finally uh, pursue my dream, especially here in Barbados, where there's, um, there are mushrooms available, but they're small varieties, and they're all imported. Um, there are a number of varieties that thrive in the heat and do well in Barbados that are not represented in the stores. And uh, I hope to bring that to the supermarkets and to the restaurants. Barbados has a rich culinary tradition, and I look forward to supplying BB mushrooms to chefs and home cooks alike. Um, at the first few years of any business can be very challenging, and I'm pleased that Goddard is providing experience, expertise, and funds that will assist me in developing unique business strategies. This is the first of three phases of the competition, and I look forward to being a part of the second phase. And I'm just gonna cross my fingers and say God willing. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Deborah. Keep those fingers crossed, but work hard in the meantime. Gems Gourmet Chocolates Barbados is owned by Melissa Batson, and I know she does other things as well, some wonderful fruit arrangements. So, Melissa, please come and tell us what this means to Gems Gourmet Chocolates Barbados. Good afternoon, everybody. First of all, I would like to thank Goddard's Enterprises, the board, management, and staff for this prestigious award. I'll be very honest with you. Um, when I was told about this award, I said, I'll give it a chance. Because I, I, I know that there are other companies in Caribbean and in Barbados that, you know, their portfolio may look a little bit <laughs> better than mine. 
But I said, you know, there was a voice in my head telling me, keep going, keep going. And that has been the theme since COVID-19. Um, many of us can, can say, and we, we've experienced that with COVID, our businesses have taken either a loss or extreme loss from the beginning. But I kept saying, you know, keep going, keep going. So on the day that the deadline was supposed to be, I entered. I said a prayer and I forgot about it. So when I got the call that we had won, Mrs. Reese, you were talking to me, but I was like, I was hearing you, but I wasn't hearing you. Because I was like taken aback that, you know, someone took an interest in what I was doing. Because at that time, I was like, that's it, I'm giving up. But when I got the call, it renewed my faith and it allowed me to say, you know, once you keep going, once you have a passion, if there's something that you believe in, there's always somebody else that believes in you. You may not know it, they may not come to you directly, but for you to say to me, you know, here, we see you, we acknowledge you, and we want to take you further, further, that has blessed my heart. So I just want to say thank you and for giving us the opportunity to make the future a lot brighter. Thank you. Thank you, Malicia. And that was definitely said from the heart. So congratulations to you, and I wish you all the best as well. And now, Med Regis, when I looked at your bio, it looked very complicated, this health records that you were working on. But you have it, I'm sure. So tell us about Med Regis Dale Trotman. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. First, I would like to start by thanking Mr. Ali and Goddard for this competition, not just because Meridius is a finalist, but for supporting entrepreneurship throughout the region. Because when we look at the Caribbean, a lot has to be done for entrepreneurship, and I'm glad that Goddard is taking that step to support us as entrepreneurs. And not just financially, but also with the mentorship we will receive moving forward. Meridius recently signed an agreement with Doxy.me, which is the, one of the biggest, well, let's say the biggest telemedicine company in North America. And we are looking to expand throughout the Caribbean and also explore places such as Africa. And I believe this competition is going to bring a lot for Med Regis, not just monetary, but also the mentorship and guidance. And I think it came at the right time for us, especially with this agreement we recently signed. And looking back at my journey as an entrepreneur, when I started off, I didn't have any knowledge in health, health technology, didn't have any funding. A lot of people think I'm a developer, I'm not a developer, so that meant I needed funding, so I didn't have any funding, and no partnerships, nothing. I just saw a dream, and I saw a solution that needed to be implemented within Caribbean healthcare, and that is how I started, before even knowing how it was going to get the things in place. And I think that's what entrepreneurship is about. Seeing something, seeing a problem, coming up with a solution, you may not necessarily have everything in place, but you know this is what you want to do, and you move forward and you strive. You may fall, but you come back up strong. And again, Mr. Ali and the Garter team, thank you for everything. Thank you, Dale. That's the spirit of an entrepreneur. That's what you were talking about, right, Mr. Ali? That's the spirit that you're looking for. And of course, we also have Mike's Bajan Beverages. And we know that Mike delivers these fresh, like milk, and you have worked right through COVID. So congratulations to you, and I'd like to invite you up, Michael Thornton. Good afternoon. As an entrepreneur, only you know the difficulties that you encounter on a daily basis, trying to find funds. Nobody seems to pat you on your back and encourage you. It's really only really friends, family, and so on. So to be part of this and to get a pat on the back from Goddard's Enterprises is truly amazing. It's something that, you know, it's a dream come true. Now I can try to grow my business with the help of the mentors and so on. You know, I have special thanks for people like Bruce 
uh, Greg Ward, Richard Seal from Barrel Seal and so on, who have helped me along the way. But truly, this is one of the biggest helping hands that I have been awarded and all, of, all the other entrepreneurs. And we would like to thank you, Mr. Ali, and your team for coming to our aid. Thank you. Thank you, Michael, and good luck to you as you progress with your Bajan rum punch and your Bajan beverages. And I'm looking forward to seeing the Bajan punch of creme in the supermarket. Mike's punch of creme. And now we have Cool Comfort's Frozen Delights. Leandra King is coming to tell us. This is a, come Leandra, this is the family of a Goddard staff member. They entered the competition and won in that category. Leandra? Good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> all right, so first of all, I want to say it's really hard for me to actually put into words like what this means to me. I know people come and they say words can't even express, and it, you know, it sounds so cliche, but it really is the truth. It, like when Julie first called me, you know, it was such a surreal feeling. I was hearing, I was hearing Mr. Ali as well speaking, but just like, you know, Melissa, I, I, it was a lot to process. And, you know, when my sister first told me about the competition, you know, I was like, do I really have what it takes? But, you know, I said, you know what, I will go ahead and put in the work. And I put so much work into this. And so many times I thought about, should I, should I submit this? Even on the day of, I was almost done. I'm like, does, does this have what it really takes? Being the resilient person that I am, I said, you know what, I'm going to push through and give it my best. And I sent it off. Um, I'm so appreciative and really grateful for the opportunity. It, it really means a lot to me. It's really hard to put that into words, but that you guys were able to see the vision I have and that you were actually willing to invest in it, not just in money, but also in the mentorship that we're going to get. Like, that is... There's no really value I can put to that financial value. So as a thank you, I will ensure that the funds that were given to me and also the mentorship afforded to me will be wisely, wisely used so that you all at Quarters would be able to be proud to see that you would have been able to contribute to this business and the growth of it. So once again, I thank all of you, the team of Quarters. Thank you so much for this opportunity for us as entrepreneurs. Thank you, Leandra. And you heard the theme running through. People had doubts. People weren't sure they could make it. People were ready to give up because of COVID. But this competition has helped. And your passion, which is what Mr. Ali said, your passion for what you are doing is what's going to take you through. So I wish you all the best. But just to let you know, you're also up against, in the Caribbean, a company called Caraway, which is a tourism-oriented virtual reality business. Nella's Tenderonis, which is a company that does vegan pasta. Yala's Mobile Tire Services from Trinidad and Tobago, as well as Zedrise, which is another tech firm from Jamaica. So those are the other four in the competition. Now, just to let the media members know, in your kits you will see a sheet that has all the numbers for these entrepreneurs that if you wish to speak to them, you can do so. And if you want to do separate interviews, you are free to do so. In that kit, you will also see the names of the mentors and the companies from which they come. So now we're going to have photo ops. If you want to have a photo op with all of you, or singly, and then you are also invited to have some refreshments, and we're not going to have refreshments and chit-chat. It's package that you can actually take it away with you. So there is a package that you can take, and of course, remember to keep your mask on. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming. It has been a pleasure seeing all of these entrepreneurs, and I wish each and every one of you all the best as you progress in this year in your projects. Thank you. Thank you.